Thanks very much. Uh, a warm welcome to everyone. It's, uh, it's a great privilege to be able to stand here and just say a few words. Um, Ron being here, I always remember uh, at a, an Allerdale Civic dinner where the mayor, a long, long time ago, came to the microphone and he had a sheaf of papers and he stood there and he said, now look, he said, you don't have to worry. He said, there are only 27 pages. And everybody laughed. And then he read 27 pages. <laughs> and you could hear people after about 10 minutes saying, 19, 18. And people were going out and not coming back and hiding in the toilets and so all sorts of things. So I'm going to get rid of all these notes. And really just two things to say about social enterprises. I got involved, uh, I did VSO many, many years ago, 1980 to 82, out in East Africa. And I came back and got in, involved with the fair trade movement. And some of these early social enterprises, bringing coffee from Kenya and some of the other places where there were cooperatives and helping local people. And I don't know about whether many of you here can remember trying to drink some of that coffee back in the early 80s. It was awful. And you did it and you drank it because, well, it was a social enterprise and you were helping these people in this poor part of Africa. Where are we now with fairly traded products? They're in just about every supermarket. You go into Co-op, Tesco's, Morrison's, Sainsbury's, and you can see them. And why do people buy them? Yes, maybe they buy them because they have a social conscience, but they buy them because they're a bloody good product. And if you go to the House of Commons, you can get tea, coffee, wine, chocolate, you name it, fairly traded social enterprises. So the first point is, whatever it is that you produce has to be very, very good quality, and you have to be a business. Second point, there is a perception <clears throat> somehow that you have proper businesses, big business, capitalist businesses, and you have these social enterprises. These, well, they're not really proper businesses, are they? They're just small groups of people who sort of get together and so on. That is absolute and utter rubbish. The first point, you do produce decent products that people want. And secondly, some of the social enterprises are amongst the biggest companies anywhere in the world. Football, Barcelona, Real Madrid, social enterprises. Is Barcelona looked as a tiny little non-entity that plays in the Spanish Fifth division? No. European champions, they'll spend 30, 40 million pounds on a single player. But they are a social enterprise. Real Madrid the same. John Lewis, huge organisation, owns, amongst other companies, Waitrose, one of the biggest supermarket chains. It's a social enterprise, which ploughs money back into the company and has a social conscience. So... You are here because you produce decent, well-made products that people want. And you are here because you have a social conscience, but you are also successful, like some of the other great social enterprises that exist not only in this country, but in other parts of the world. But the big difference, your profits don't go to help shareholders don't go to make multi-millionaires. They're ploughed back into local communities. And that's why you're special, and that's why I'm delighted to be here this evening. Thanks very much.